This is such an antiquated, reductionist, disrespectful way to pretend to be a woman. Hi. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money too. Love ya! Cheers! Go team! Whatever team you love, I love too. Okay. Love ya. Okay. Break a leg. Woo! That's Dylan Mulvaney, uh, which I kind of criticize people for like commenting on everything this person does. Um, but this is a partnership with Bud Light. Okay, Bud Light. So you understand the context for those people that like didn't grow up in like rural America. Bud Light really has a couple of applications. Um, really hot, sunny days when you don't want a heavy beer. It's like a Bud Light, Coors Light, maybe a golf course and boats. Okay. So golf courses and uh, pontoon boats are really like the primary uh, context for consuming Bud Light. In my opinion, that's kind of like what Bud Light is for. I'm going to like have a good beer. I'm not going to get to go drink a Bud Light. You know, I might be like, the, maybe I'm more of a Modelo guy myself personally. So knowing that they have a big audience in this community and in the Hispanic community, for whatever reason, Mexicans love Bud Light is what it is. I don't know. I like Modelo. I'm a white guy. Mexican guys like Bud Light. It's a weird, it's the world is crazy. You know, we live in a backward society, but I can't understand <laughs> from a marketing perspective, who the f is Bud Light trying to reach by partnering with Dylan Mulvaney <laughs> and putting her face on a can. On top of that, okay, let's go a layer deeper to this whole situation. Is this what it means to be a woman to this person, right? Uh, March Madness, I don't know what that, like, I don't watch basketball. I think basketball is kind of silly, but, like, I know what March Madness is. So does my wife, and she doesn't act like a, a, a bimbo when discussing basketball. Is that, like, is this, this is such an antiquated, reductionist, disrespectful way to pretend to be a woman. Cause that's what this person is doing. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm here with this now. This is odd for me that I'm like in this camp. Now this person is pretending to be a woman and his idea of what a woman is, is a dumb bitch. That's what his idea is. Like he acts like a dumb bitch because that's what he thinks of women. In my opinion, that's what I see when I see this person doing this and these other bits. Right. And it's like, I am in complete support of like adults doing what they want to do. And like, if you want to like transition to whatever, whatever you want to do, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Jordan Peterson with this shit. Like if you want to be an adult, I don't get, you can do heroin on the fucking street. You know, it, I guess if you want, I think it should probably be illegal and I don't think you should camp there, but like it is what it is, right? If you want to do what you want to do, you know, it's not my responsibility and I don't have a to give. I have other things to care about. That being said, like, this seems to me, just looking at it, is like so disrespectful to women to pretend that like what it means to be a woman is to be a dumb bimbo. It's to look a certain way and say stupid shit. You know what I mean? Like, is that is that really what we're going with here? And what does that say about our culture as a whole? Where we're like, yeah, this person gets to play dress up and act like a dumb bitch, and we're gonna call her a woman, right? When I'm like. <sighs> this is cosplay and no, that's not what this is. That is not what this is. This is weird guys. This is weird. We live in a clown world. Okay. Again, I think trans people should be treated just like anybody else. Whatever you, this person presented themselves as this, right? And I don't know why she's wearing a prom dress or whatever the this is or a gown like for a, a Bud Light ad. Again, not reaching your target demo, Bud Light. Like you're, you, you have a very strong presence in certain communities, and you do really well in those communities. Budweiser makes a shit ton of money. So who got this idea passed at Bud Light, and why? And why is she dressed like she's going to the opera, right? When what you should be wearing if you're drinking Bud Light is like maybe jean shorts, 
You know, it's like the guy, the people who drink Bud Light are like the guys on the golf course that wear cargo shorts. Like that's the, those are Bud Light drinkers. You see what I'm saying? Like there's a very, like they, none of, none of them, like they all have a gut. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's a, that's Bud Light drinkers. You know what I mean? They may not like hit women, but it's not out of the question. Like that's Bud Light drinkers. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's your market. You're not going to branch out and become the preferred beer of the trans community. You know, that's not really in the cards for Bud Light. Um, so this just seems like a swing and a miss and just, I don't, again, I don't pay that much attention to Dylan Mulvaney, right? I find it so annoying when Ben Shapiro and those guys like comment on everything this thing does. And it's like, yeah, okay. And here I am doing it. I get it. This is the first time I think I've ever brought this person up or showed a video of theirs on this show. But what struck out to me was like, I don't know what March Madness is. Go team, whatever team you like. Break a leg. Like that's so degrading. And while I make jokes and say silly shit, like being disrespectful to women as a group is like, that is not appropriate. Is not okay. And I see this on the level of disrespect to women as like somebody like Andrew Tate. Like I see, at least Andrew Tate is overt in his disrespect of women. It's gross. I don't like it, but it's not hiding as something else. It's not disguising itself as womanhood itself. While Dylan over, over here is disguising himself as a woman while playing out some kind of fetish, it seems, and disrespecting women at the same time while being supported by people that pretend to support women. And that's not at all what's happening here. So if we look, of course, it's a silly Bud Light ad. It's a swing and a miss. There's like boycott calls and all that stuff's kind of like whatever. If you like Bud Light, drink Bud Light. I don't think, like you're not going to change the game with Bud Light. Like it's a mega corporation. They're going to be fine. You know, maybe try Modelo. But the deeper thing here is like, I've seen this start to be the case where it's like the lowest common denominator of like the stereotypes of women is now what we're calling women. Because that's what you're talking about. When you're talking about trans women are literal women, you're taking this, the, the, the most reductionist characteristics of a stereotype of a woman having a man pretend to be those things and then calling that person a woman. That's disgusting and wildly inappropriate with some deep cultural implications. Not what we're going for. So yeah, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go pull a Matt Walsh here and be like, you're ugly, disgusting and all these things. Like that's not helpful at all. But like when you start attacking women is what this looks like to me. And maybe that's been the case. And I just didn't pay attention because I don't pay attention to Dylan at all, really, because it's a waste of my time. And most everybody else is too. But when we're looking at like a cultural trend here and we do commentary on human behavior and, and how that impacts us in our own lives, like think about that. Think about your, my daughter, right? Growing up in a world where womanhood is reduced down to the, the dumbest shit as the characteristic of a stereotype of women. That's like a character. You know what I mean? Like, that's not the world that I want my kid growing up in as a woman. Or when we do have a boy next time, I don't want him growing up in that world either, right? I don't want him growing up in Andrew Tate's world or Dylan Mulvaney's world. That's, those are two worlds I would prefer my kids not really interact with that much. Maybe know that and become aware of them, but like, I'm not really interested in them being involved in those ecosystems by any stretch of the imagination. And I think there's a much bigger story here than like, oh, like, trans rights and LBGTQIA R niner plus, you know, whatever to the 10th power. There's a bigger story here than that.